In a Donnan equilibrium, a concentration gradient is balanced by a charge gradient. In other words, imagine we have a cell and we have a concentration gradient in which we have a high concentration of potassium inside and a low concentration of potassium outside. Just according to the concentration alone, if we put a channel in here, an opening in here, that allows potassium K plus to cross and nothing else, what we'd expect is the potassium to leave until we had exactly the same concentration inside as outside. In other words, we'd expect to have three potassiums, as I've shown it here, inside and three potassiums outside. However, in a Don in equilibrium, what we have instead is a concentration gradient that's balanced by a charge gradient. Let's imagine that we had the same situation, but now instead of having the potassiums free to leave, we add some negative charge in here. In other words, we make the inside net negative. The result of that would be that some of these potassiums would no longer be free to move around. In other words, this potassium, this potassium, this potassium, and this potassium, they're all interacting with negative charges. And so as these are all bouncing around through the cell, we have an equal probability of this one potassium on the inside and this potassium on the outside hitting that opening and going either in or out. So that's a Don in equilibrium. So a Don in equilibrium is a situation in which we have a charge gradient balanced by a concentration gradient. And you can equally think of it as a concentration gradient balanced by a charge gradient. And in a typical cell, the equilibrium, the point at which the perfect balance will be for potassium, where there's 10 times the amount inside as outside, uh, sorry, closer to 20 times inside as outside, the concentration gradient that, that is balanced by a charge gradient, it's balanced when you have a minus 100 millivolt charge on the inside. So at that point, the number of potassiums going in and out is equal. If we got below minus 100, that would change. And if we got above minus 100, that would change. If we're above minus 100, so let's say we're at the typical resting potential of a cell at minus 70, and we have potassium channels there. Then potassium would be leaving because there's not quite enough negative charge to hold it all in. And in fact, you'd have a few potassiums leaving until you were at minus 70. That's a Don in equilibrium, and you can think of any ion as potentially being in a Don in equilibrium. So in this case, we'd have potassium leaving until we got down to minus 100. Notice that as potassium are leaving, we have positive charges leaving, the inside should get more negative. And at minus 100, we'd have no net movement. The channel's still open, but there's no net movement. That's a Don in equilibrium.